I'm one of these people that have never really accepted what's happened to me. I'm still fighting for independence, which frustrates my wife and my kids quite a lot, but I don't want to give in to this. I want my life back. I don't know when I woke up, if it was hours or days or... And then I was told that I had a, I had a stroke. I like swimming. And I was a good swimmer. Until... The stroke. I cannot do that again. My name is Laura. I'm the founder of Nitrogen. This is a wearable medtech startup developing a new wearable device for stroke survivors. The project started way back when I was completing my doctoral studies. I was researching new materials and how we can really help those with little to no support at all who are stroke survivors to regain movement in their limb. My brain was, um, was swelling and they wanted to reduce the, the brain damage that might happen. So. I split my skull, just allowed the room for the brain to, to expand while minimising the amount of brain damage that might happen. So, um, although unfortunately it was too late to, to reduce the damage that the stroke had done, so which is why I'm paralysed on my left side and blind in my left eye. We identified that there's a new material that we can develop, which is now called the power bead. And this is something that enables us to control muscle responses, but also the connection between the muscle all the way through the spinal cord, brainstem to areas of the brain, through neural connections which are still intact. The device itself has two stimuli to it. And there's one which is a tap that's delivered through the actuator, and there's another which is a sound. Now the tap plus the sound enables us a precisely timed manner to elicit long-term changes so that after you've stopped using the device, you continue with that level of ability. At first I thought it would be like a long sabbatical. I thought, give it, give it a couple of months to be back at work. I was keen to get back to work. I didn't see any reason why I couldn't be. But then it was only through a meeting with the physios that I realised that this was a, a lifetime condition. I wasn't going to go back to work. So we ran a uh, one-day workshop up at CPI, which Nick Regen attended, uh, with a team of uh, mechanical, photonics, electronics and uh, thermal engineers. And we basically just talked through their device what they were trying to achieve and how we could uh, help them achieve that. They wanted obviously to add additional uh, functions to that, including a sound element uh, and some logging element of the device itself. CPI have helped us to significantly reduce the control board, integrate temperature sensors, which is absolutely crucial for us to make sure that our technology operates safely, and to really consider the power supply as well. So before we were plugged into the mains, we were using some really hefty battery packs just to be able to get the data in. Now they're three cells. It's really significantly reduced and that's all really compact and, and contained within a piece that you can wear around your wrist. The innovative part of this was bringing the entire device together as a, as a solution and adding obviously different technical elements to that. So generating the sound uh, for the device is something CPI had not done before. I'm here to get Nick Regen and that team on their journey and watching that team grow and obviously develop this product is really good. And from the, the survivor's point of view, Having a device that will enable them to go from a non-functioning to a functioning arm or hand, for example, it's going to have massive impact on their lives. And to be part of that journey is, is amazing. I tried on a sleeve which had this electronic device on it, which is like had a, a pulse, an internal kind of piston which vibrated against the wrist. It felt like a slight tingle in my left arm and my left wrist, which seemed promising. If I can use my left arm, get my left arm, it would be fantastic. If it means that the sensation is looking like my arm is normal or getting to be normal, I think it will do a lot for me, a hell of a lot for me. I'm very, um, very proud to be part of the project. I'd love to be able to work again. I'm 59. I was 52 when this happened to me, so um, I still feel I've still got a lot to offer. 
and hope it's more than a project. Hope it's something which goes into production and changes the lives of a lot of people.